Okay, um, we're on the TC Electronics website. I just want to show you the lm 2 n This is a loudness meter for monitoring how loud your music or your audio recordings are. And uh, this is what they're using for, as a broadcast standard meter now, using the standard of R128. And if you've got this meter, it's really cool, actually, because the radar is really useful. If you've ever used a PPM meter, you will know that you have to keep looking at the meter and looking at your work and looking at the meter. Uh, with the radar, it actually leaves a trail behind, so you can actually see the loudness that's happened previous, which is quite handy uh, as you're tweaking away your your audio. In fact, I find it a lot easier to use than the a PPM meter, and I'm sure if you're a PPM meter user, you will quickly get used to the lm 2 m Looking at their website, they're actually doing a 14-day trial at the minute, so if anyone wants to have a play around with it, you can always download that. The reason for this video is because if we look down the page, TC give a YouTube video demonstration of offline measurement uh, processing where you can click a button and it scans your audio file and it will give you a readout showing you your R128 specifications and seeing if your audio passes that and whether you need to make any adjustments. Now, TC claim that you can only do this using Pro Tools, but I've had a little play around in uh, Cubase, and I'm sure Nuendo and WaveLab will do this as well. You can actually get it to do a, an offline measurement in Cubase. Now, I haven't actually downloaded the lm 2 n yet as a trial, but I have got the LM2 uh, just to demonstrate this in Cubase. Okay, so here we are in Cubase, um, got the LM2 open. Now, normally, um, you have to do this in real time, uh, so you press play. And you would uh, monitor your audio uh, visually with the LM2. So you'd have to, you'd have to play the program out throughout, and... Uh, when you get to the end, you can see what your readings are. Now, obviously, if you've got a really, really long piece of uh, program to monitor, maybe someone's give you a file and they want you to make some adjustments on, playing it through over and over again. And, and again, lastly, at the end, to make sure you've made the right changes, it can be a bit tiresome and a bit, a bit long-winded. So actually, the Pro Tools uh, feature is quite useful. But... You don't need to use Pro Tools to do it. I don't know why TC say you do, um, but you don't. And the way you way you do it um, in Cubase is you just go through the process of doing an audio export. So here we go. I'll just demonstrate that. So you just go to File, Audio Export, and Mix Down. Uh, make sure that you're actually selecting the output that the LM2 or LM2N is loaded on. OK, and then you go export. And as you can see, quickly, as it does the export, the radar will run and you get your settings. Now, if you go to statistics or stats, we can see that our program loudness was actually uh, minus 23 our UFS maximum loudness was 19.1 uh, loudness range 1.2 and true peak max was minus one uh, so minus 5.5 okay uh, what I really like about this if you go back to the radar you can change the radar speed after the event so if you had a longer piece you can zoom in on an area and see what was going on with your peaks, which is quite handy. Now, obviously, this this version will not give you a log file, so you can't save these statistics. Uh, but what you can do, you can do a screen capture, um, just print screen, save it into, if you're using Windows like I am, Microsoft Paint, then save as, and just bung it in the same folder as, as the audio you're working on. So what I would normally do is do a, a screen capture of the radar, then do one of the statistics as well. Um, and that's quite handy sometimes. You just want to keep a record of um, 
where you are on your on the job or how how it was when you finished it okay so i hope that was uh, handy for a few years out there that was just a little um thing i came across um i just really wondered why tc says that you can only offline process in pro tools but actually you can do it in cubase too i'm darren wood and you've been watching how to use offline measuring on the lm2 and the lm2n using cubase